So you done heard and you spoke to some Israelites before? Yeah, oh. word? Oh, okay, okay, all praise. So, hey, we out here, hey, this is the perfect time. I know you said you hauled the shroom, but the Lord said we got to be sober, brother. But let me get this, let me get this for you. Give me Psalm 119 and 59. Look what David said. So, you know, you can know and, you know, kind of think, but it's more to know and then you got to actually do it. It's an action behind it, all right? We're going to show you real quick, right? I'm going to double back on you. All right, we're going to bring this out for you. Psalm 119. Verse 59. Right. I thought on my ways right. and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. Right. I made haste. You did what? I, I made haste. haste. I made haste. And delayed you not to keep thy commandments. So David said he delayed not to keep the commandments. Man, once you know you're his life, the Lord wants you to know, I mean, to keep his laws and his commandments. Because that's why we're in this situation. Nothing else got us in this situation. Juneteenth then, rep then magically just free us. And then we just, now we are uh, all equal with everybody. So we got to know that we Israelites, we got to keep God's commandments, and that's what he required from us. Shroom, what did shrooms do to us, brother? We used to smoke weed. We had better do, hey, we used to pop pills. We used to do all kinds of things, too. But that's just like a scapegoat. It was like a coping mechanism. From the bigger picture, like, damn, man, we got to go to work Monday, right? We got to damn work, pay rent, right? We got to go to our own enemies for food, for water. Why is this? That's the bigger picture. Why are we going through these things, brother? Is it just because, you know, just here? We just put on America and we all equal, but we just have bad, more bad things happening to us than everybody else. No, oh, brother. We got to know that we Israelites, brother. Now, I want to show you, brother. I know you said you got to go. I know you kind of not just right state of mind. But let me let me just read this to you real quick. Because this is how we know that we Israelites. This thing happened to us and we can't, we can't run from it. We can't negate it. None of that. You say you believe? Oh, brother. It's the spirit that's going to bear witness. Just get that in Deuteronomy real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Listen to this, bro. We know nobody, this happened to nobody else but us, brother, as a whole. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again right. with ships. With what? Bring with ships. ships. The Lord said bring it into Egypt or, or captivity or bondage. Then, then our people go into slavery, brother. What, what other people went to slavery on you know, slave ships, brother? Yeah. Only us, right? And this right here in the Bible. Did you know that was in the Bible? Okay, okay, okay. All praise, right? So that's a good starting point. But look, let's finish that out. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, right. thou shalt see it no more again. Right, because we never seen our homeland again, brother. Where we came from. Is this our is America our homeland? No, but we was literally forcefully brought over our ancestors and we the descendants of those people, right? So how can this be our homeland? Keep going. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And he was what? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Now we were sold unto our enemies, brother. What that sound like? Being sold to your enemy. What that sound like, brother? What one word would you put that with, correlate that with? Slavery, brother. That's right in the Bible. Hey, brother, you ever heard of that? Going on slavery on slave ships. What, what does that sound like? What's your nationality? Hispanic. You, are you familiar with your with your culture and your heritage? What happened to your people? All right, brother. You'll be Israelite, brother. Keep the commandments. Are you familiar with your culture and your heritage? What happened to your people? What happened to your people? What would you say? If you had to describe it in a uh, in a drastic way, what would you say word best fits your, what happened to your people? 
Yeah, yeah that's right, bro. Yeah. Colonization. Right. That's a but that's a beautiful uh word, man, to put it. Colonize. What else you say? Yeah, unfortunately, but you know that's a uh, colonize. Uh, what rape, rob, murder, right? Forcefully speak. Do you speak Spanish? A little bit, but like most of that that language is forced upon our people. We weren't speaking that language. Why do you think it's called Spanish to be Spain like? We ain't like the Spaniards, man. The conquerors, man. The conquistadors. They the ones who came and was conquering and doing all these mad things. Do you know that that's written in the Bible? That that would happen to our people because they didn't do what one thing that the Lord required for them. Did you know that that's in the Bible? Can we show you that? Let's show you this real quick. Deuteronomy 28, let's go to 49. We're going to read it right quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. Right the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So, a prophet, now, the owner, now, just to speed you up, the only reason why the Lord is having this, uh, saying that this bad thing is going to happen to our people, because he wanted them to do one thing. Keep God's, keep his commandments. You familiar with any commandments of God? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'll pray. So, come, 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 step a little closer, bro. I can't hear you like that. Hey, we ain't gonna do that to you. We just talking. You said, what happened? Okay, oh, yeah, we, I mean, we all used to do that. We had some brothers in uh, Buddhism, Buddhism, right? Catholicism, right? Mormonism. We, we all try to do that. What fits us? What, for the, what directly spits with our spirit? But that's what we're trying to show you right now. What's going to spill your spirit, Lord? Yeah. With right? So now, well, I said that because Moses commanded for the Israelites to keep the law and commandments through God. God commanded to Mo from Moses to the Israelites. So the Lord said as a bad, or as a curse or a, um, a negative effect of not keeping it, this was going to happen. So that's, let's read that again. Uh, verse 49. Right. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. She said he's going to bring a nation against the Israelites from far. He going from the end of the earth, from one end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying. As swift as a what? As swift as, as the eagle, eagle flying. Fly. Now, who prized themselves in that eagle? Who symbol? Who national national symbol was that eagle? United States, Russia, Spain. You said who else? It's a, you see, that's all on the dollar. We, we got a picture of that, I believe. Yeah, it's all on the dollar. Look, Egypt, America. It's on a quarter. All right? They pride themselves into that, man. Right, so let's but let's keep going on this. A nation, a, who, a nation right? whose tongue thou shalt not understand. See that? He said whose tongue meaning they language, right? Because when the Lord speaks about tongues, he's not talking about some about some blessing mind, and they speaking that folly. It's talking about language. So he said that whose tongue or whose language they weren't gonna understand. So when they came and was you know trying to offer peace, remember now. Uh, when Christopher Columbus and them all and the Spaniards came over, the conquistadors, they came over there, they was they was trying to play the Mr. Nice Guy at first. Why? Because they wanted the things that we had over there, right? Now, when they got over there, what happened? They switched it up, right? Took right, rape, rob, right, murder, and did all these bad things, right? But remember, now I don't know if you know this, but he had actually translators who spoke Hebrew because they knew that our people didn't speak Spanish. So he had to have a person, uh, people who was familiar with the language over there to, to speak to him. So that's why he had those translators, and that's why I said that he had whose tongue that should not understand. Keep going up. A nation of fierce countenance, right. which shall not regard the person of the old, right. nor shew favor to the young. See that? Now, what do that sound like? This per these people wasn't going to show favor to the young or to the old. What do that sound like to you? You had said it earlier, the colonization, the rape, rob, and murder. Yeah, the, the, um, the, the uh, slave enslavement. Hey, he was literally going and getting our people and bringing them back on slaves to the queen over there, right? Those are things they was doing, man. Raping, robbing them, but yeah, are we gonna celebrate Thanksgiving? They literally boasting about what they did. The turkey, the, the dressing, hey, all of those are symbolic for the blood and the body and all these different things. So why would we keep that? But what we're trying to show you is that's literally in the Bible and that happened to our people because we didn't keep God's commandments. That's all he wanted us to do. Let's get that through right to and 15. Remember, Moses was speaking to the Israelites. You familiar with the Israelites of the Bible? Do you know that they was God chosen people, right? So, but that's what we're doing. We're trying to identify who they would be in today's society. And the things that we just read to you was only relating to the Israelites. Would you say that relates to you so far what we read? That's crazy, right? Right in the Bible, right? Let's keep going. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Right. But it shall come to pass. Right. If thou will not hearken. If thou will not what? If thou will not hearken. You know what hearken mean, right? What do hearken mean? This means to listen or to hear, right? Hearken. It's like it comes from the root word here, right? So it means if you listen, right? Keep going. 
unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to observe to do all his commandments right. and his statutes uh -huh. which I command thee this day that all these curses that, what? that, that all, all these curses, curses and they should come from me from far that, that all these curses, curses right, and murder your people, that yeah. all these curses right. shall come upon thee uh -huh. and, and overtake, overtake thee. thee that's why uh -huh. so the curse was going to slavery getting um, colonized having all these bad things happen to you right so that's fair enough right Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 for the brother. That's crazy, right? That that's right in the Bible, brother. Have you ever read that in the Bible? It's right there in your face. Deuteronomy, you got a Bible? Uh-huh. Right, right. Yeah, so we teach it. We're not teaching religion. The word religion only in the Bible like three times. We teaching a heritage. We te you can do the Rami chapter 33 and verse 4. We teaching strictly our nationality. You said you don't have one? We we're going to get you one, brother. Lord willing, we're going to give you a Bible at the end of this. Lord willing. Bring this out. This is what we're teaching right here. Tom, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 4. Right. Moses commanded us a law, right. even in the heritage even the what? Even even the inheritance right. of the congregation of Jacob. Exactly. So the law says the commandments is our heritage. What we teaching is law says the commandments, how that happened and how to get out of it. That's what we teaching out here. Now, what ha the men, how did it happen to us again? Why did it happen again? What did God want us to do? Do you remember? Levi said, so he wanted us to keep the law and commandments. Right. But he said if we didn't, then what was going to happen? Did we read it? Let's read it again. Hey, we right here. We with you, brother. We ain't going to be slow. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Right. But it shall come to pass, right. if thou wilt not hearken right. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe and to do all his commandments right. and his statutes, right. which I command thee this day, that all these curses, and these what? that all, all these curses. So what was placed upon us, brother? And that's a good or a bad thing? Bad. So that's why we read that one. A nation coming from far, great Robin Murray, and doing all these wicked and abominable acts. That's a curse. That's a bad thing that happened because we didn't keep the laws and commandments. You get that, brother? Now we can read more for you, like Deuteronomy 2 and 68 about going to slave ships. Remember what we said when the queen came and got them, he was literally taking them away and sending them over to the in, uh, in the 1500, 1400s. Right? That's literally going into slavery. We can read that out the Bible too. How y'all doing there, brother? Hey, brother. Hey, bro, y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, family, y'all believe in the Bible? We here to come here and talk real quick, family. Hey, y'all already was right here listening to us, family. Come here and talk. We ain't no forcing nothing upon nobody, though. Okay. No disrespect. Okay. I'm celebrating my birthday. Okay. But what more but to, to bring it in with us, brother? We're going to show you something what the Lord said about the birthdays. That's right. But we want to show you your heritage, though. Do you That's know your What's your heritage? What's your nationality, brother? I ain't going to lie. If you're giving like one or two minutes. Come here and talk, brother. Come here and talk. That's right. We came. Come on, family. We are here, right here, as well, right? Hey, Come here, us out, family. Gift right here, man. Hey, this gonna be your best birthday gift, brother. This gonna be the best. Come celebrate with your. This your. This your guy, right? Don't even hang it. Come here, us out, man. Come here, us out, sister. We here for the family. Let's give him like sixty seconds. Come here, us out, family. So what we doing is? Well, who are we, brother? Who are you, brother? Who, who are you? Well, I mean, well, we don't want to say entertainment. We don't want to get disrespectful. I mean, we literally here just teaching your brother. No, it's no but it's, it's no, it's no entertainment involved. Hey, this is not entertaining to me. Hey, seeing our people in this state walking up and down, smoking their weed. They are women in ass shorts with a damn everything short. That's not entertaining to me, brother. Hey, it's the great. It's just, it's a discerning to me, man. Our people are the, the great. Yeah, God, so like, all right, brother, y'all be Israelites, y'all be paying key commandments. Hey, this is entertainment to the to our people, man. This is considered entertainment, man. Hey, since y'all believe in the Bible, can we show y'all something about y'all God given nationality? Come here, South Sisters. Yeah, come here, South Sisters. Y'all need to cover up, put clothes on, and put the weed down. What did the weed do for us? Right? What did the blue hair is doing for us, man? It's doing nothing for us, man, but destroying our people. We got our women literally walking with their ass out, man. And then get raped, ride, and murdered, and holler. Hey, she was such a good girl, was she? Right? But this is what we teaching our people, man. And our people on here, this entertainment. Is this entertainment to you, brother? Was this entertaining the words we say? Do we got a collection plate in? Do we got the brother Barack dancing on, on the break dancing on cardboard right here? That's what entertainment is. Hey, you know, we take that as disrespect, but hey, you know, that's our people, they lost. They don't know no better. So, but nevertheless, what the things we we're trying to show you is these things happen to our people because they didn't keep God's commandments. Right? Like simple things like what? Do you know any commandments? What's the commandments, brother? 
I know you said that you still learn that you're trying to find your way. So can we? What, how about we just give you some? Okay. Now, as Israelites, would you believe that the thing that we read to you, even though it's slight, would you say that you agree with that? It doesn't sound wrong. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's a good point. So it don't sound wrong, right? Let's get one more for the brother, real quick, before we go to commandments. Let's get Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So I know you say you just remember with the Bible, but do you know what the Israelites was doing in Egypt? They was in slavery. They was building up the pyramids. You ever heard of let my people go? That slogan that Moses said to Pharaoh? Okay, so that was talking about the Israelites because they was in slavery or bondage in Egypt. So Moses had to get, let's get that. Let's get um, um, Leviticus, uh, I mean, it's like Exodus chapter uh, 9 and verse 1. Oh, we can that. We can that. Exodus 9 and 1. We're going to show you real quick, brother. Whoever got it. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 9, verse 1. Right. Oh. The Lord said unto Moses, right. Go in unto Pharaoh right. and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, right. Let my people go. What Moses say? Let my people go. That was the slogan. That's so, that's a famous slogan that they that Moses had said to, to Pharaoh because our people was in oppression. They was in slavery. They was going through hard things over there in bondage. So they had to, Moses had to go and tell Moses, hey, let my people, let my people go. Right? So they was in bondage or slavery over there. You can get that in Judah Bible, sir. Right? right? This is Judah 5 and 11. Right. Therefore, the king of Egypt rose right. up against them right. and dealt subtly with them. Right. And brought them low with laboring and with brick. There what? And brought them low in labor and with brick. And made them slaves. There what? And made, made them, them slaves. slaves. Right? And that's what he did. He said he made them slaves in, in Egypt. Right? Literally made them slaves. So that's why Moses was that person to come in. He was their savior. Right? We all want to say when we're going through bad things. So Moses was their savior at that time, man. Right? Now let's go to uh let's go back to Deuteronomy. Now we're gonna try to sum it up for you. Deuteronomy 2 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, what, what was they doing in Egypt again, brother? Slave. Okay, kind all brothers, brother with us. Now, keep going up. With ships. With what? With ships. Remember, we were just talking about Christian Lumber was doing that, going to get our people gathering up and selling them. Right? Forceful labor, all these different things. Right? So keep going on that. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Yeah, when we got took from over there, did we ever see our homeland? Our descendants, we the descendants of so-called slaves, right? But our ancestors, when they came over here, what was the, they for, they was brought over here. They wasn't already over here. Some of them was, but they was they had a, they was forcibly brought over here, right? Now, let's keep going. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You hear that? Literally sold unto our enemies. Hey, sister, you, are you familiar with that, sister? Sister with the blue hoodie. Are you familiar with that? We're just teaching our nationality and heritage right now. So we teaching our heritage and nationality right now. So we was just, we gonna read this passage. Who do this sound like this happened to? Hey, sisters, y'all, we gonna show y'all this real quick, sisters. Let, who y'all who y'all think this sound like this happened to? Bring this up. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again right. with ships. With what? With yeah. ships. So do y'all know about the Israelites of the Bible? No, a ship. Yeah, a ship. So who would you say went on slavery on slave ship? What race of people went on slavery on slave ship? African American, right? So called, right? Okay, okay, African American. So called. Cause but you gotta remember, since the Africans is different than African Americans. Well, okay, sister. I, okay, okay, sister. I see your correlation. I see what you're trying to say. We gotta understand. We gotta speak to them in their tongue. Okay, sister, you're right. Okay, sister, we understand, right? So they was the so-called Africans, and then they became African American when they came over here. That's your point, right? Okay, all praise. So now, with that being said, bro, remember the Lord wasn't speaking to the African Americans. If this, in this chapter, the Lord was speaking to the Israelites. Right. I can't right. find the word African American in the Bible. Can y'all? Right. Are y'all familiar with African American in the Bible? It's not in there, right? Because it's a newly thing, right? If you want to, if you want to get technical, African American is a new concept. Did they make that in the in Jesse? What's his name? Jesse Jackson in 1865, if I'm not mistaken. What's, okay, 19, 1983. Okay. Well, that's cool. We understand. So the Bible wasn't rewritten a thousand times, sister. 
it was ran from the manuscript from the no, I don't want to go too deep but basically what it was written from it was translated from the Latin right then it went into the uh, I mean the, um, I don't know if you're familiar with this guy's name but um, his name is Tinsla he was the author he translated it from to the English and King James got a lot of his literature from that but it was never translated as like a thousand different things it was all the same thing they just had to make it into terms that we could understand because do you speak uh, Latin whether well, you speak English, right? So the Lord wanted to put things into our understanding so we would be able to, if we got picked up the Bible and it was in Latin or damn Greek or any, we would understand it. We wouldn't understand it. So the Lord had to make it plain to our people. Give me a back in two and two real quick. Give me a back in two and two real quick, whoever got it. This is what the Lord had to do real quick, right? Come on. Real quick, sister, don't walk off. We gotta, we gotta answer your question, sister. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 2. Right. And the Lord answered me and said, right. Write the vision right. and make it plain upon table. What? And make it plain upon table. But it's in Latin. We can't understand it. And make it plain upon table. Why you put it in English? And make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it. So that he that run may read it. So if we was in the language, that wasn't. The Lord already knew that the captivity was going to be in. We were going to be speaking English predominantly. Right? So with that being said, it wasn't translated into like a whole different set like this meant something else and they made it into this it was the same thing they just had to translate the words into what we speak now sister that's what they had to do okay. so what would you say your nationality would be I'm yeah well your father is so sister well you would probably you would be an israelite more than like right and are you familiar with the israelites we just like we talking to our brother right here he just found out he is Israelite. see that you see that smile on his face that ain't for no reason sister so can we show you how you know you would be israelite Okay, all praises, right? So like we just telling our brother, you know, our people went to slavery, right? Like we just ran to you through our 20s. We know that that happened our, to the so-called African-American, but it wasn't only African-American. It was a so-called Latino and Hispanic man as well, right? They went to slavery before, if you want to get technical, right? Like we was going to a Christopher Columbus. You familiar with the, the colonization? Exactly. So the same thing. They was being a part of slaves since at that time as well. So with that being said, there's many other ways that we can show how we would be the God's people. But do you know why that happened to our people? Why slaves? Why did we go into this colonization? Why did we get all these things happen to us? Sis? We're going to read it. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. I mean, uh, 15. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken. So you know what hearken mean? Well, you know what hearken mean? Ask your friend, but you know what hearken mean? It means to listen. Okay. It comes from like the root word, like here, but it means to listen, right? So it's saying, read that first time again. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken. Read it, what again? Listen. So he said, if thou wilt not listen to what? Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do what? To do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses. That what? That, that all, all these curses. curses. So the Lord said that if they didn't listen and keep his laws and his commandments, then all these curses was going to be placed upon him. You get it? Yeah. Keep going. Shall come upon thee right. and overtake thee. Yeah. What? Yeah. And overtake thee. That's so the curses is a good or a bad thing, sister? Uh, it's, it's a bad thing. So that's why those things happen. Because the Lord said, keep his laws and his commandments or have curses placed upon you. That's a very good question. That's a good question. Uh, to kind of furthermore uh, bring this to the first actual life. We're going to show you what we got to do. Because the Lord want us to, what we gonna, that's a good question. Now, if what got us in this thing was not, what, what got us in this situation again? By not doing what? By not listening to keep his commandments. So what will get us out of it? That's right. By literally, but let's get that. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 40. God, this is the book of First Kings, chapter eight and verse thirty-nine. Right, no. Then hear thou in the heaven that dwell the dwelling place, right. for forgive and do and give to every man according. Uh, verse thirty-eight. Right. What prayer and supplication soever be made by any man right. or by all thy people of Israel, right. which shall know every man the okay. plague yeah. of. Oh, uh, so like you just start right at verse number uh, forty. Go to 47. Oh, come 47. Yet, if there, if there shall bethink themselves, yet, if that, it says, yet, if they shall bethink themselves, in the land, whether they were taken captives, 
and repent. And do what? And repent. Now, what do he want us to do? And repent. You know, repent means? Yes, to, um, I do, I can't explain it, but okay, I do. So, know what just mean to uh, stop doing that thing that you said and, uh, and don't do it no more. Okay. Right? And now, be converted. Turn away from sin. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Discipline. So that's what that is. And so now, with that being said, now we know we ain't really read you too many things to how you know you'll be Israelite, besides going to slavery and all these different things. But that's how we know that we Israelites. But like you said, the thing, how we gonna know what to do to not upset God if we don't know anything? You know any commandments? No. I'm not. I'm Buddhist, so it's like. But but that's a religion though. The Lord never gave us a religion. He gave us a heritage. We're not teaching religion up here. We teach the heritage of Buddhists. What can they do for you? What is Buddha doing for you right now? Um, he's giving me motivation. To do what though? But he didn't he didn't even just let you know who your nationality was. Yeah. But we literally just read it in five minutes out the Bible. Who is your nationality here, sister? As an Israelite sister. But God but that's not what God called us. Mexican not in the Bible. We're gonna we're gonna read it. We're gonna we're gonna show you it's Israelite. Let's get it for the sister. Let's get to right one real quick. Alright, we're gonna get it for you, sister. That's what we're here for, right? Not for Buddha. Not for the green sign and none of it. Deuteronomy 29 from the top. Right. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. Wait, what's our sister right here? To make with the children of Israel. That sister, to make with the children of Israel. So these things that we was reading to you is only for the children of Israel. Okay. So that's why we know that we're the children of Israel. We're not the children of, we're not Mexicans. We're not Buddhist gods or Buddhist children. We're none of that sister. We're Vietnamese, right? We are literally the Israelites of the Bible system, right? And now we're going to show you the way to, like, be think or the way to return back to the Lord is keeping the commandments. Do you know any commandments, sister? No. We're going to get you a couple of commandments. Before you go, sister, we got to give you some commandments, right? Yes. All right, let's get this in the moment, man. Oh, you kind of, and our brother, too. So, like, I forgot about our brother right there, man, right? Hey, he's still here patiently listening, man. Oh, do you agree with those things he was reading, brother? What the Lord called us then? Israelites, brother. So now we're going to show you what we got to do to revert the curses or come back to the Lord and serve him, right? So we're going to get a couple commandments, right? Let's start with uh, Leviticus 11. Let's get uh, this the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Right? And the swine. The what? And the swine. What's the swine, family? Swine? Like a swine. Oh, I don't know. S-W-I-N-E. So it's the ancient name for a pig. So when you look it up, if you type it on your phone, swine, it's going to literally, your pig going to pop up like this. So the swine is the pig, right? But well, we're going to see, do y'all eat pork? Bacon, sausage, no pepperoni. No, you do, brother? Okay, we're going to see what the Lord said, if it's good or if it's not. Let's see. Though he divide the hoof right. and be cloven-footed, right. yet he cheweth not the cud. Now, he's only saying this because you got to have three attributes to be a clean animal. The pig only has two because he don't chew the cud. Y'all know the pig eat anything, man. You put a dead body, you put them whatever in front of it, it'll eat it. Right? So we're going to see what the Lord said about it. He is unclean to you. We prayed over. He, he is unclean, unclean to you. But Buddha said it was clean. He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. That's just a, so the pig is unclean. Okay. So oh, we can't, that means. Like, a true Buddhist is vegetarian. I know you don't, you don't really eat pig, so I don't really know. But okay, go on. Okay, Kyle, we don't. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, right. and their carcass shall ye not touch. Right. That? So he said, shall our flesh, shall you not eat in their carcass, shall you not touch, right? Wow. They are unclean to you. I had to say it again, because it's an unclean animal, right? So we can't eat that swine or the pork. Now we used to look, a lot of brothers used to eat it, you know, but we had to, like you said, repent, or mean it, what do it mean? What do repent mean again? Okay, okay, kind. So that's what we gotta do with the pork. We can't eat it no more. We gotta put it away for good, right? Let's keep going on that verse. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever have fins and scales. What did the Lord say, what we eat out of the water? Whatsoever have fins and scales. Brother, what got fins and scales in the water? Fish, right? What about crab? Or that thwip? Or that any other thing? What else got this? Can't eat shrimp. Can't eat shrimp, sis. With the with the garlic butter sauce and when you eat when you do you know anything of, let's see uh oh let's turn this around. You know that the shrimp and the crab is the is I mean the shrimp and the roach is literally in the same family. They literally like cousins. You know, so when they see each other, they dab each other like what's going on? Cause you know they the same kind of creature, right? They literally uh what's they call it? They got Esco shadow. What's they what's they uh no no they name they classification man I forget it. Crustaceans. They crustaceans. 
Right? Yeah, even when you skip on the roads, you kind of got that hard shell just like the roads, man. Right? And we don't have roaches, man. We know what you're talking about, man. Right? But at the end of the day, though, they are in the same family. So are you going to eat the roach and the, I mean, the shrimp? With some garlic butter, I might. But sister, but the Lord said it's ugly. Even when you clean it out, it only got that little black behind it. Yeah, but I always clean my shrimp. See that? Our people, is the, but remember, the Lord said we can't eat it, though, sis. Okay. Now, we know that it's steps that we got to take to do it. You know, some people can't just stop right away, but you want to make strides and offend less and less, sis. Right? But the Lord said it's unclean. We can't eat it. Hey, you think we didn't used to eat those abominable things? We didn't know no better, but once we knew, hey, by the love and the, and the strength that we got for the Lord our God, we put it away, right? That's right. So, you know, we just made those strides. His brother, you too, right? You eat, you eat that thrift too? All right, brother. In the seafood bag with the shrimp, crab, and lobster? All right. All right, sis, can we get one more for you real quick? All right. I'll let's get one more. Let's get the uh, Deuteronomy. Right. No, let's let, no, let's get the Sabbath day, man. She already go. Walk away because she don't walk with God. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter, I mean Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Do you know what today is? What is today? Today is the 17th. The 17th, okay. Is there anything significant about today? Is it just a regular day? What you say, brother? It's just a regular day? We're gonna show y'all what today is, right? This is one of the holiest days. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Right. Remember oh. the Sabbath day right. to keep it holy. You said what? Remember, Remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day, day right? to keep it holy. Are y'all with the Sabbath day? Okay, we're going to show y'all more. Right? Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. So the Lord said six days you can do all your work. Do whatever the heck you need to do. But what? But the seventh day. But the what? But the seventh day. What's the seventh day of the week, family? Saturday, right? Yeah. Saturday, right? If y'all look at the kind of go S to S. Yeah. So it goes Sunday to Saturday. So he said the seventh day of the week. So we're going to see what's significant about the seventh day, right? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Is the what day? It is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Today is the Sabbath, family. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath. Right? We're going to read what we can do on this day. Come. In it thou shalt not do any work, nor thy sons... Next verse, but he said on the Sabbath, you can't do your own work, you can't work on this day, like as far as like money for money, it's for money. You tell you, you said, What happened? Are we supposed to like pray? Like, uh, well, you like can do you don't supposed to do your pleasures on this day, like you know, uh, um, everybody may have a different pleasure, but like pr pr predominantly Isaiah 58 and verse 11 says, like, as far as pleasures, you're, you know, now we know men and women have one particular pleasure that they like to do, right? As far as regenerate on the earth. Right, so we want to do that. So you know, I'm trying to keep it PG, man. So at the end of the day, we got that's one of the main pleasures we should abstain from on the Sabbath, right? But not do, that said? we should abstain from, abstain from, yeah, not do, right? Just on that sundown, because the day starts at sundown. So from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, that's when you should want to abstain, uh, withhold out from that. But as far as other, you can watch, you know, you can watch the TV. It's no sin in watching TV. Or how y'all doing, day family? All praise to the Most High, right? So we just teaching our nationality in the Bible, sister, right? So, what do you say your nationality is? Black, right? Can you find a word? Can you find a word black in the Bible? Uh, in the Bible, right? Well, I mean, you find the word black in the Bible, but as far as describing your heritage, your nationality, you wouldn't even find it, right? So, with that being said, what's our nationality? It can't be black. That's a new thing. Even if you go into that, that's the name of two so far white man. See that now? If we Negro, is we Afro-American, you know, what are we then? Right? So what we are, we're going to show you. We're going to get right to the chase. Have you ever heard of Israelites? We are the Israelites of the Bible. So you familiar, sis? I don't know the politics or the research behind it, but be saying that lately. Like, Israelites. What do you think that is? Give me the book of uh, Baruch chapter 2 and verse 29. Let's get that. The Lord said that. It was already prophesied that we was going to remember ourselves in these last days. We were, they're not going to be able to hold the damn secret. That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. We're going to answer all those through the Spirit, right? Let's get Baruch 2 and 29. Whoever has it. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 2 and verse 29. If ye will not hear my voice. Oh, 30. Oh, God. Verse next verse. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 2, verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivity, but in the land of their captivities, are we living peacefully in this in this nation? Don't we gotta go to work on Monday? Don't we gotta pay rent to somebody? Don't we gotta go get our food from somebody else? This is a captivity, it's a captive place. Keep going. 
But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. What we what we doing now as is no we is like they, they shall, shall remember, remember themselves. themselves. That says that we literally waking up and know who we are now. They can't hide this secret forever. They can't put us in the headlight and say, "Oh y'all niggas, y'all African American, y'all black." Why are nationality changed every every ten years? Right? The so called white man just been called white for how long now? But ours just went from Afro to Negro to. Why is that? Because they don't want us to know our true identity as Israelites and that we how we gotta serve the Lord. Yeah, sister, hey, you right here already, sis. So we can, we gonna show you how you Israelite and what you gotta do. Can we show you that real quick? Okay, okay. So we know we Israelites because we went into we gonna just we gonna get it for you. Let's do our twins and say this happened to our people. One of the main things, right? That happened to our people, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. If you're familiar with the Bible, the Israelites is in Egypt. They was in slavery in Egypt to the uh, to the other. All right, sister. So we'll be the Israelites, right? You gotta keep the commandments of the Lord. Right, so that's why sometimes it's unprofitable to teach one who don't. You know, she may have got a little itchy ear, but the other sister will, you know. But all praises, though, man. All praises, man. Hey, our people get the little. Like, uh, all, right, God, God, what's this? all praise to the most high, though, man. Right? Give them a little bit. Lord, when they get it, man. But just because they look and they got one time eyes, that don't mean they want to hear. They may be looking at that Sirac Dredge, man. Hey, family, how y'all doing that? Y'all got a minute of the words of God? Hey, brother, can we show you a nationality, brother? Come on this side real quick, brother. We talk. But you ain't black, but you're skin brown, brother. You can't be black. Got to repent, keep God's commandments, brother. All right? How y'all doing today, family? Y'all got a minute in the words of God? Sisters, can we show y'all something in the Bible that's talking about y'all? One minute. What y'all come down here to just have fun on Black Friday, so-called Black uh, Juneteenth? What y'all what, what come to the lake for today? Just to have fun, walk the dog, chill. What more? Hey, we chilling right now with each other, right? Reading the Bible, talking about God, praising the Lord. Oh, so what we're doing is we're just teaching our hair our nationality according to the Bible. What do you say y'all nationality is, sisters? What what do the world call us as a nationality, as our heritage? What's our heritage in this world? What else? We go all black American, what else? You can keep going, right? Well ours gotta keep going and keep going, right? So you say right, sister, you got it right. So but we want to show our true heritage in the Bible because the Lord gave everybody a heritage in the nationality according to the Bible. What's ours? It can't be black or African American. That's not in the Bible as a race. You got the word black in the Bible, but it's not talking about that's your, 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 your um, who you are as a nationality as a people, as a whole, right? Who are we as a whole? Okay, we gonna get it for you, sister. Let's get Philippians chapter three and verse number six. We gonna show you real quick. Book of Philippians. Chapter 3 in verse 6 concerning zeal persecuting the church. Verse 5. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel. The what? Of the stock of Israel. The Lord call us in the Bible? Of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin. Right? So the Lord called us the Israelites. Now y'all familiar with that in the Bible? The Israelites, what was the Israelites going through in the Bible? A lot of things, right? What what who was they to the most high God? Weren't they slaves? They were slaves. You're right. They were slaves. Hey, the dude can Yeah. So they were slaves, though. What's your, what's your nice name, my brother? Indian. Indian. Okay. So yeah, they were slaves in, uh, over there. Yeah. Yep. They was putting up the pyramids, mm -hmm. right? They was doing a lot of these things, right? Mm -hmm. So sister, the Israelites, they was a slave. Like the brother said, they were slaves and building up the pyramids, and they was having a rough time. And who was the person to come get them out that situation? Moses, right? Mm -hmm. right. Moses was the one to save one. Because everybody, if you're going through a hard time, you need somebody to come save you for that, right? Absolutely. Right? So Moses was that, that man to do it at that time, right? So what happened after that? Was that the end of the story and we closed the Bible and that was it? Yeah. No, we walked around for 40 days. 40, yeah, 40 years. Okay, we walked in the wilderness for 40 years, right? For our rebellion, right? That's a good point. What happened after that? That's why we like talking to our people. Our people got the knowledge, man. You know? So our praise. So, okay, so yeah, so the Lord purged them out, you know, a lot of them didn't make it to the land. But prior to that, right, do you know why they went through all that? I guess because they was kind of greedy and complaining. And yeah, they, you're right, they yeah. was complaining. Yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah, God, they was complaining. That's uh, Numbers 14. So when you go into it, even before that, as soon as they came across, remember Moses split the Red Sea, brought them across. Remember, Moses had the, do you know what Moses gave to them? What did Moses give to them? Yeah, right, he gave them the, the, uh, the, the commandments of the Lord. But the Lord. Why did Moses get to go across? That's what I get confused. You said why? Because Moses was the chosen at that time. Moses was the chosen but one, worthy enough. Why he I mean, he oh, 
Oh, to the toes? Oh, to the land. Oh, because let's get the book of uh, Numbers, chapter 16. And, um, this is cool. Oh, yeah. So what he did was the Lord told him to speak to the rock and let the water flow out. But what he did was he hit it. Yeah, so with that being said, him, he got him and Aaron. Both wasn't able to make it. It was that serious because oh, remember it was, a, it was a commandment of the Lord. Yeah, he disobeyed. You got right, sister. Yeah, God, God. So, so now with that being said, sister, the same thing that's going on with our people now. Let's read this. The Lord had us do this one thing, and they disobeyed. Look what the Lord did to us. Bring this out. This is Deuteronomy twenty-eight and fifteen. Right. But it shall come to pass. Now, now this is Moses speaking to the Israelites, right? He with all the twelve tribes, right? Let's see what if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Y'all know what hearken mean, right? Okay. To observe to do all his commandments. What? To do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses and what? And that, that all these curses. curses. See that? So he said that these curses was gonna place upon them. So come upon thee and overtake thee. So now curses are going to be placed on the Israelites. And these curses are how we identify who the Israelites are today. Because the Lord said that these curses was going to be upon them from generation to generation or upon their seed forever. Let's get that in verse 46. Where is the seed today? Where is the Israelites today? Yeah. We're going to show you right now. Since Where is the seed today? That's a, that's a beautiful question. Let's show you real quick. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. Meaning these curses, he said, these curses are going to be upon you for what? For a sign right. and for a wonder. Right. And upon thy seed forever. See that? So it's upon the seed of those Israelites forever. So now these certain things that happen to them, they only gonna relate to the Israelites. Let's That's get right. let's get the, the one of the biggest ones we going to oh, all day. Read That's this right. Deuteronomy 28 16. Let's see what this happened to, sister. Deuteronomy. Now, we know what the Israelites are doing in, uh, in Egypt, right? What are they doing again? Complaining. What, what, what are they doing? Slaves. slaves. So we're gonna read the same thing in the Bible. Verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. What, what was they doing in Egypt again, y'all? So now he's making that correlation saying that he's going to bring them into that way again. But what? With ships. With what? With, With ships. ships. On slavery on slave ships. Who went on slavery on slave ships? Yes, yeah, sister. Right there. Yeah, sister. You see that? That's crazy, right? Right in the Bible. No, oh, since that you gotta say it, you know, speak that truth. Whoa. But yeah, so who 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 that happened to in history? So who could who are the Israelites today, then, sister? Who are those Israelites, sister? Uh, uh sister, that's right. Uh, we are those Israelites, uh, sister. To answer your question, we those Israelites, sister. Uh, wow. Yeah, we those Israelites, cause we can pro we just proved it out the Bible that we those Israelites. Right. We went on slavery on slave ships. We get right. all these byways and proverbs. We are the head. I mean, the tail of all these nations, and they the heads. Who, do, who can we go to our own people for? When we want to get that loan, who we going to? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> Mama ain't going to give you a, a 500000 for that house, right? A half a million for that house. Mama ain't giving us that. Oh, Mama might break that pinky low. bank and pull out some change, but you said what's this? Yeah, right? Exactly, right? For that wife. Yeah, even for a car note. When you slap you on that back for that sixty k for that brand new car, who you getting that loan from? See that? So, yeah, let's read that. What you said, sister, verse 44. Right. He shall lend to thee. What? He, he shall lend to thee, right? and thou shalt not lend to him. See that? So mama not giving us 50000 for that bank, uh, for that new car. I said, what, sister? I couldn't hear you. Where, where do you worship? Where? Well, we worship right here, wherever the Lord said. Give me oh, Matthew 18 and 20. Is this the church? Yeah, that's right, sister. Let's get that. Matthew 18 and 20. Whoever got it. Bring that out. Right? This is the book of Matthew, right chapter 18 and verse 20. Right. For, for where two or three are gathered together oh, in my name, right. there I am in the midst of so them. The, right, the, the angels in the Most High Center, I mean, in the Most High Center, right that's next right. to Jesus, spiritually, right? right? That's so right. that's why. So wherever we at, the Lord said he's there with us. It's two or more of us there, he right there with us. So that's why we go and wherever we at, we got to teach the word to our people. We the Israelites, but we got to know. The curses or the things not disobeying God, what got us into that. So we got to obey God to get out of those curses. Right. Like keeping it. Do y'all know any commandments? Yeah, all of them. Like what? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Okay. Covet thy neighbor. Thou right, shalt. right, okay. right. Okay, so do you know it's more outside of that? No. What's more? We're going to see that, sister. We got to entice. We got to draw you in. Let's get that real quick. Le Leviticus, number 11, and slot it. Chapter 11 and verse. Six, seven. Right. And the swine. And the what? And the, the swine. swine. The swine, family. See that? 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> Sister kind of like, ah! So the swan, right? We're going to see what the Lord said about it, though, right? Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed. Yet he chewed not the cud. He is unclean to you. Pastor prayed over it. He is unclean to you. Matthew 5 and 17. He is unclean to you. So the Lord said the pig is unclean to us. We can't touch that pork. It's a filthy animal, right? They was the garbage cans back then. That's why the Lord said you just can't touch their dead carcass. But if we couldn't touch them and they was unclean, why would we have them as a garbage can? But it does say you got to get the thigh meat. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I never says, you know, I say, you got to get the thigh or you got to get the beef bacon. So you got to just know. Now, nah, don't get the Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. You're going to waste your money. That's the garbage right there. But you want to get the good one. Yeah, so, but sister, you love the Lord, right? So which one way out? The bacon or the pork? But yeah, but but not willfully sinning though. We can't willful. Give me that Give me Romans six real quick. We are gonna show you real quick. And give me Jeremiah seventeen about that heart. <laughs> about that heart. How y'all doing, that sisters? We just teaching our heritage over here. Y'all familiar with the Bible? Love it. Okay, we gonna show y'all something that, that the Lord said. Jeremiah seventeen and nine. The heart is deceitful above all things. Right. And, des and desperately else? wicked, and, and desperately wicked. What else? <laughs> who can know it? Damn. The Lord even said, "Who can know that heart, man? So desperately wicked, <laughs> right?" And it's not that muscle right there. But since, but when the Lord is talking about your heart, sister, it's not that muscle that's pumping the blood. It's your mind. Cause remember, that that's just a muscle, you know. But your mind is your is your true heart. Cause your mind gonna start everything, right? Your mind, how you do evil. Your mind had that. Pick it up, right? It's the beginning of your mind, then your hands pick it up and do it, right? So we just gotta turn from that pork, sister. Right? Do you, hey sister, do y'all eat pork? Sister, do y'all eat pork? Okay, all right, sister. See that? A hunty? That's why the Lord said he cursed him with the scab of the head, man. With that hunty. Alright, sister. So can we get a sister off? Oh, you got a flyer. So we so what the Lord okay. calls again, sister? I gotta, I That's gotta right, go. sister. We can't forget it. All praises. All praises. All praises. All praises. So at the end of the day, man, we not, so sisters, we don't got time, we not going to argue for this, man. We're not arguing for the sincere sisters, man. So, hey, them sisters may be the elect, man, you never know, man. So all praise to the most high, man. And that sister with the with the scab in her head, man, she evil as hell, man. Took our sisters away from the truth, man. Hey, come on, I'm, I'm a vegan, come on. No, you know, all praise to She said, what? She said she an Egyptology. That's why she had that spirit. How y'all doing that, family? Come here, son. Y'all believe in the Bible? We're just teaching the Bible and what's our nationality, heritage. Who are we as a people? What would y'all say? Who are we as a people? Are we just black Negroes? Colored folk? Right? What would y'all say we are, family? So what we are, we're gonna get we're gonna cut right to the chase. We stumping all lives to the ground spiritually, right? We are the Israelites of the Bible. Right? And we gotta come and confess it to our people. Right? Give me that in the book of First Peter, right? Chapter 4 and verse 2. Come bring that out. First Peter 4 and 2. All right? This is what we're going out here to do, sister. First Peter 4 and 2. This is the book of First Peter, chapter 4 and verse 2. That have no longer should we live the rest of the... Oh, come. This is the book of First Peter, chapter 5 and verse 2. It says, feed the flock of God. What are we coming out here to do? Feed the flock of God. We're going to wake up our people. Feed the flock of God. Which is among you. Take the oversight thereof. Right? Not by constraint, uh -huh. but, but willingly. Not for filthy lucre, right. but for readiness of mind. For what? But, but for, for readiness, readiness of mind. We're trying to prepare our people for the readiness of mind to find out, damn, what's our nationality? Who are we? What's our heritage? What are we put on earth to do? Right. Sister, what y'all say we put on earth to do? Is it come up here and celebrate Juneteenth and say we free and we got freed in 1965 or whatever? Are we truly free? I know damn well I got to get up on Monday and go to work. That's right. That's right. If I need some food, I know I got to go to one of these grocery stores. That's How can I truly right. be free? Right. Free is, hey, I'm going to go to the bank and cut up that lamb and, you know, have real wealth, right? Would y'all agree with that, family? So are we truly free? All right? The wings ain't, you know, wings ain't that good. Finger licking, man, you know? So all praises, man. So sister, when we out here, we teaching out here. If y'all want to hear, you know, or eat the chicken, it is what it is, man. Right? Go to me the book of Proverbs chapter uh, 1 and verse number 23. Start at 22. Right? Hello. Ron, it's the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 21. Hello. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. Right? 
In the openings of the gate. You know what? In the openings of the gate. No, in the closing of the gate. In the openings of the gate. In the city, she uttered her words, say, how long ye simple ones? How what? How, how long, long ye simple, simple ones? Sitting there eating the wings? How, how long, long ye simple ones? Indulging conversation they don't want to hear? How, how, how long, long ye simple, simple ones? So, hey, we're going to give it to our people. We ain't going to spank on our knees and Joe to see this, uh, our people to come back to the Lord, man. And Tyrese, the crowd uh, sweating tears, man. Right? We're going to be long suffering, but we ain't finna beg our people, man. Right? So, at the end of the day, hey, how long will our people love this simplicity, man? Is this fun? There ain't nothing fun about going to the food vendor and giving them your money, man. Knowing damn well you damn got $5 in your bank account till you get paid, man. Keep going up. Will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. what? And the scorners delight in their scorning. How y'all doing today, sisters? Y'all believe in the Bible? Come here and stop, sisters, with the dog. You got a minute to hear the words of God? One minute, family. Come here and stop, family. Hola, amigo. Como estas? You got uno minuto for the word? I forgot to say it in Spanish. But hey, all praises, man. You said what? Yeah, Kyle, kind of all praises, all praises, man. Keep going on that. And fools hate knowledge. And what? And, and fools, fools hate knowledge. knowledge. Coming up here and thinking we literally free on Juneteenth, and right? And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge, man. Our people hate the knowledge, man. Right? right? Our people literally is oppressed together, man. Right? It's just our people don't want to get it right, man. Give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 14. Right? Give me Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 14. Right? God, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 14. Right? Is Israel a servant? What the Lord said? Is Israel a servant? Right? Hey, is our, hey the Lord had to ask, hey, Jeremiah has to do this. Hey, is Israel a damn servant? All these captivities, all this damn, our mind state, man. Right? right? Keep going. Is he a homeborn slave? Is he a what? Is, is he, he a, a homeborn home slave? Jeremiah asked them, is we homeborn slaves? Just gotta be simple, think we free every day. Biden just gave the so-called uh, Juneteenth a, a concert. Hey, family, you gotta meet the words of God? Come here, stop, brother. We, we just talking about the Bible. You believe in the Bible, right? You got one minute, brother. Come you and your dog, come hear the words of the Lord. Nobody wanna hear the words of God, man. People wanna walk up and down and they follow you, man. How you doing today, brother? I oh, we talked to this brother, man, last week, then. How you doing, there, brother? You believe in the Bible? Uh, Come here, stop, brother. What's your nationality? Huh? What's your nationality? Uh, Jamaican and Chinese. Oh, Come here, stop, brother. We just talking about the Bible. Come on, sister. Come here, stop, sister. We just talking about the Bible. We ain't doing nothing. Right? How you doing, there, brother? You believe in the Bible? Hey, brother, what's your heritage, brother? What's your, what's your nationality, brother? <laughs> Dang, you see that? You dropped your burrito. What kind of burrito is that, brother? I think it's a sandwich. Oh, damn. See that? Hey, brother, it's in the wrapper, brother. You can pick it right up, brother. Hey man, see y'all being a little too boozy, man. Hey Jake, no damn well they was at the house and that's on the ground. They picking that up, man. Hey, them chips too. Jake would have wiped them off, man. Yeah, five second rule. How you doing that? So what we doing is we just teaching our nationality of heritage. Right? Like your brother said he uh Jamaican and Chinese. What you say you is, sister? What's your nationality? Okay, okay. So what's your father? What's your, what race is your father? Guyanese, okay, is that, is that from uh, Africa? South, okay, 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 okay. And you said, what would your father be, brother? So-called black, right? Now, we look at our color, nobody is black. If I looked at me, I, like my mama, she like your color. And she called herself black to this day. I'm like, well, mom, you literally light-skinned if you want to get technical. So what we teaching is that those not our nationalities. Those not who we really are as a people, right? But we can show who we are according to the Bible, our true heritage, our true nation. Right? Would y'all be intrigued and finding that out? Okay, all crazy. So, now all throughout the Bible, the Lord has a chosen people, right? Um, are y'all familiar with the Bible a little bit? Okay, so do you know who the chosen people of God is in the Bible? No? What do you say, brother? No, I think you said it, brother. Okay, so who are the chosen people of God in the Bible? Yeah, the Jews. Yeah, it would be the Jews. The Jews are the chosen people. But you said what, sister? Yeah, so they are. The Jews would be the chosen people of God, right? They were the selected out of all the nations in the world, right? And if you want to get technical, they were the last nation, right? But nevertheless, the Lord chose them to be his people because he made promises with those, with, the, with our forefathers that they would choose them as the chosen, right? From Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and from them came the, cho the chosen people, the Israelites. So with that being said, we here to identify who those people are in today's society, right? Who are the Israelites today? Who, who would y'all say the Israelites are today? Is it the Jewish man in there in Israel and with his black suit on and his yarmulke? Is that the Israelites of the Bible? So we're going to show y'all, right? Let's get, let's show who, we're going to show y'all who are those people, right? 
right? Right? So y'all familiar with Moses? What did Moses do? What was he famous for? Really? See, look, he said, you really know, sister, you could. Yeah, you, you, what'd he do, brother? See, he split the Red Sea, right? He split the Red Sea, right? And what he do after that? So after that, he split the Red Sea. Let's get that. Let's show that. Um, give me no, uh, give me Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. We're going to show after he split the Red Sea, we're going to show you who he was with. All right? So it's no confusion, right? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. All right? Come, Come This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Right up. These be the words which uh, Moses spake uh, unto all uh, Israel. To who? Unto all Israel. Israel. This is after the parting of the sea, and after he, so his, Moses with all the Israelites. After he came, he got the tablets. Y'all familiar with that? He got the tablets, the stone, the, the commandments, and he was sent to give them to the Lord. I mean, to the people, right? So we are gonna go right there. We are gonna fast forward it. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse number uh, one. Because remember, Moses gave them good and bad news, right? The good news was what? Do y'all know what the good news was? Okay, we are gonna read. It. Let's read it. Deuteronomy 28 from the top. Right and it shall come to pass. Right? If thou shalt hearken. Thou shall what? If thou, thou shalt hearken. What hearken mean, family? Y'all know what hearken mean? It didn't mean to listen. Right? So let's read. Diligently right. unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. To observe and to do all his commandments. Right. Which I command thee this day. Right. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. And the Lord gonna do what? Will set thee on high above all nations. Above who? Above, above all, all nations, nations of the earth. So he said the blessing was going to be if they listen, kept the laws and commandments, then they'll be set above all the nations on the earth. But we all know it's the good and the bad, right? Which I think the bad is. Okay, we're going to read it. It's the opposite of that, right? You ain't going to have the curse. You're not going to be above everybody. But we're going to read it. Verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass. Right. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice what of the Lord. mean again? I forgot. Listen, okay, come. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, so that all these curses, that what? That all, all these curses. curses. So what's a curse, family? It's a, bad, it's a bad thing, right? So remember, a good thing was being above everybody. So curse had to be being under everybody, right? Not being above. So we're going to read. So what we're going to do is we're going to read some of these bad things. Because those, whoever they happen to, it's the Israelites, no matter what. However we look at it, we can't twist it for our own good. We just read it. So let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. I mean, uh, 16. Come, verse 16. Right. Cursed shall thy be in the city. So a curse that was going to be placed upon those Israelites, they're going to be cursed in the city. Meaning living in what? Bad in every city. Wherever you go, what nation or group of people as a whole are living the worst wherever you go? What worst of people would y'all say? As a whole. Not just, I see one person like that. As a whole. You said, who's sister? Us, right? That's plain. We can't make it up and right. go around, beat around the bush. We're going to get right, right to it. It's us, right? Because we living in the ghettos, right? right? If you want to get to the ghettos, when you go to it, say, where the Jews dwell, right? Uh, but keep going. And cursed shall thy be in the field. In the field. What people was literally cursed in, like, the slave fields, cotton, sugar, Tabasco, sugar cane, all these different things. You say, see that? So the brother had to point, point to it, man. It was our people, family. Well, our people was literally, first, hey, like I said, I always say this. I drive trucks, right? I literally go to some of these fields and there's only so-called Mexicans there, right? But not knowing that those so-called Mexicans will be Israelites according right. to the Bible, right? So if I'm seeing this as a daily reminder, literally in today's society, I mean, we can't make this stuff up. It's literally going on right now. Those are our people that that happened to. Was it a so-called white man picking cotton? He would have been burnt alive in that sun, wouldn't he? His skin, would've, he would have withered away, man. Right? But nevertheless, that's just one thing that we know that fits us, right? Let's get verse 37. Come on, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, right. a proverb. Right now he said an astonishment, right? Now you're a proverb. You know and what the smart saying is, right? Yeah. What's the smart saying that they say about us all day? Oh, what's this? We get like, I'm familiar, y'all familiar with one, um, when I hide something from a nigga, put it in the book, right? I don't know, I, this was, this was a, a, a smarter one, I mean, a, 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 a crazy one. They said, um, what they say, an elevator can raise his family more than a, a so-called black man. You know, so that's good. These are derogatory terms that they say towards our people, right? Now, let's get that last. Oh, come on. Uh, verse 37. Uh, a proverb right. and a byword right. amongst all the nations. Ah, byword. Now, we call what? Mexican, Chinese, black. Those are byword. The Lord never called it, oh, you black people. 
I can't find you can find the word black in the Bible, but you can't find that as relating to a people. Right now, we know y'all probably gotta go, but we're gonna get y'all a couple more. Let's get to Romans 28 and 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So what? Into Egypt again. What was they doing in Egypt again? What was the Israelites doing over there again? So they were slaves building up the pyramids. They was they was in slavery over there. So the Lord said He gonna bring them to that way. Again. Brother, you familiar with you, brother? We finna read you something, brother. Who this sound like this happened to? We gonna read it again. Read this out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again right. with ships. With what? With ships. ships. So the Lord said Egypt meaning symbolic for slavery. Who went on slavery on slave ships, brother? What nation of people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Native Americans. Who else would you say, brother? Who you say, brother? Who went on slavery on slave ships? Us, right? Our people. We can't make. Is, is that a lie? Don't they make movies about it every year? They literally taught it and throw it in our face, man. Right? But those things, the Lord said that we were going to go on slavery on slave ships because we didn't keep the commandments. That's where all this came down to. Would y'all agree with that? If we making that up, would y'all say that those things that we read to y'all are fitting y'all directly? Would you say that, sister? Do, do they, uh, no, affect, like, do they, uh, relate to you? Yeah, right? So, remember, the Lord speaking to the Israelites, so who we must be then? The Israelites, man. We can't make it up, man. We ain't putting nothing in our 